Okay, so uh, 2.25 a.m. Marysville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So, 18th of July, 1977, uh, 225, Marysville, Ohio. You know what? I'm not getting a reading for Marysville, Ohio. Why would that be? Marysville, Ohio, Is there, USA. Yeah, there's nothing there. Probably a small town, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's probably too small of a town. Is, is there another town nearby? Uh, if you God, you'd think that would be in there, wouldn't you? <laughs> ah, there it is. Columbus Grove. Columbus State High. Uh, yeah, well, let's do that. Okay, here we go. And who's... This is, uh, okay. All right, uh, well, ascendant is in Taurus, moon in Leo, sun in Cancer. Wow. Uh, seven degrees of Scorpio. Liver, how's, how's liver? And eyes, how are the eyes? That, that would be, that would be one of the areas of... Check. Hello? Yeah. Why don't I have sound? I can hear you, Ruth. Yeah, well, anyway, there is a there is a, a sight problem there. That's about it. Um, and uh, probably a little bit with the lungs in Gemini. Um, For some reason, wow. I don't have sound. Yeah, you've probably... Why well, don't I have sound? We can hear you. <laughs> okay, Moon in Leo is um, interesting, it's conjuncting with Saturn. So, um, and that's in your in your fourth house. That has to do with family. Um, so you've got a very very interesting family set up there. You've got Mercury, Saturn, and Moon in your fourth house, and you've got some good aspects and some bad aspects there. Is it a tumultuous family life? <laughs> Home life, parents, property. Fathers and some very uh, interesting first house aspects with Mars and Venus on the ascendant. You have Mars on the ascendant. It's very interesting because that gives you a martial, you know, that gives you the martial light. That's your um, your ruling planet, Mars. When you see a planet on the ascendant, that's your your ruling planet. 
All right, I'll do some more because I've got a few here. <laughs> Oh, very little relationship with either parent. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's parents. That's the house of parents. So there's a bit of turmoil there in that house. And uh, again, with you, there's a bit of turmoil in the seventh house, which is the house of relationships. Neptune. Your relationships will be uh, powerful and loving and fiery and sensual, but uh, there's there's a bit of there's a bit of strife there. Um, and um, you, you, that house is opposed by Venus, and of course Venus and Neptune do the same thing. They are the octaves of each other. So you have an opposition in the first house to your seventh house. And that is affecting your, um, your own personal life and your, your, your relationship with others. Um, where you need to work on is um, illnesses, the, the house of illnesses, the um, sixth house. You need to work on, work on that work on health and overcoming illnesses. All right, I'll try another one then. We've got uh, June 4th, 1988. Let's go with that one. Can I ask what book you're referencing or you're using as reference for this? I'm, I'm using, um, uh, this is a great book, by the way. Can everybody see this? Uh, there you go. Your Health. And the horoscope by Stephen Stenard. Stenard. Thank you. And uh, and of course, I use all the other guys like Tolme and Significators on there. Uh, but you see, what I'm doing is I'm just doing a cursory, superficial look over your birth chart. I need to, to spend a good, solid two hours checking all the aspects and what they mean before I can do a proper one. This is a very, very cursory, superficial, superficial thing. Very. And, and, and preferably I need to see you, you know, like... I, I can do more information by seeing you or talking on Skype. If ever you want to further this and, and go deeper with this and find out what's in you, like in terms of, you know, emotional and spiritual and physical things, we just jump on Skype with me when I've got time and, and uh, anyone. That goes for anyone. Can you leave your... Um, yeah, if I've got time, I'll do it. Uh, okay, one more. Sorry? Do you think you could leave your Skype ID at the end? You're not a Skype ID? No. Like yeah, I'll put it in now, guys. There it is. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Yeah, no problems. I think we might have to just go with that or figure something else like that out for next time. Yeah, guys, if you um, do, you, would you like me to be um, the link to the website I'm using? Well, there it is. Yeah, and 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 you can follow along and check it out um, as I do it. Okay. So let me get back to. June 4th, 1988. 12 noon. Okay. I'm doing the one, the June 4th for Kate. Okay, Kate? Yeah. 
out will on turn out. Okay, here we go. Right, Moon in Aquarius, Ascendant in Capricorn. And Gemini, of course, June 4th, Gemini. Um, you have Mercury in his own house. You have... Uh, well, you have at least one planet in... And you have... Um, So Aquarius Moon, okay, 27 degrees Gemini, you have, an, you have an affliction. And that's um, your ears. No, no, it's your speech. There's a speech problem. Perhaps, you know, you, um, I don't know, you might not be as free to, you know, express yourself as you would like. But you've got two planets there, Mercury and Venus in retrograde in the third deacon of Gemini, which has to do with your speech. There's an affliction to the speech. Okay? Oof, so that's one physical thing. Um, and all... Also, 29 degrees, um, 8 degrees of Pisces is another major affliction, and that is your coordination. That's your coordination. Okay. Um, and some of the houses that are afflicted, again, we have another affliction in uh, the seventh house, the house of relationships and partners, and you also have an affliction in the house of illness. That's Aquarius, your moon sign. So there's, there's an affliction there with the illness you need to look at. But um, you must, you're here to um, improve your relationships. There you go. That's the work you need to do. To that's where you you, you have to devote some effort. Relationships. <laughs> All right. So that's for you, Kate. I hope that's you know good enough. It's very superficial. But because we've got a group here, you know, it's, I'm not going to bore everyone. To death. I've got one more, if that's not wrong, and that's song. January 25. Let me see the call. January 25. 74, that was a great year. I was a teenager, and I think I just discovered my favourite band. No, no, that wasn't then. Was a bit later. For Key West. For Seventeen PM. That's great to have that time. Wow. All right, this will be the last one, I guess, because I don't think there are any more. Oh, yes, there's one more. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> I see you there, Tash. <laughs> All right, there's another one. Hi, oh, Albuquerque. Yeah, we'll do that one. <laughs> okay, so here we have a, uh, an Aquarian with a moon in Pisces and an ascendant in um, Gemini. And uh, there's some very interesting energies going on here. You have a beautiful trine, a grand trine. This is lovely. That's a blessing to have a grand trine.